Now, as we start moving along our application and creating many more routes in this routes.php file, you can start to imagine how crazy this file could get. Just as an example, Scotch School and Scotch Pub are both built on the same Laravel install. We can go take a look at those routes. And here's the routes file open. So this is the entire routes file for pub slash school. And it gets pretty crazy. There's a lot of stuff going on in there. So this file could get really convoluted very quickly. A really smart solution for that is called controller routing. Right now we're just creating routes directly in this file. A smart way to go about this would be to create controller routing. So instead of creating this home page and then calling a closure and defining what goes on in that route directly in this file, we can link over to a controller we'll call this site controller and a specific function in that controller we will do get home let's create a couple more for the about and contact forms so this was the about page this was the contact page and this is also the contact page but this is a post now this will be get about this will be get contact and we'll call this one post contact. For the most part, I do like appending the HTTP verb ahead of the function name, since when you get into your functions and your controllers, it's really easy to kind of tell what's going on in your file. We can delete all of this, and now you can see our routes.php is starting to get a little bit cleaner. And just a note, when we looked at the pub and school routes on the other side, those were all controller routed and the file still got that large. How do we get all of our logic out of our routes.php and into that controller? Well, first we have to go look at where our controllers will live and that will be under app, HTTP and under the controllers folder. Right now we only have the base controller.php but we need to create the site controller that we're linking to. To easily do that, we could right click new file and create a site controller or we could easily go over to our command line see back into that routing app folder we created earlier and use the php artisan commands that come built in with laravel php artisan make controller and we'll create site controller controller created successfully back over to sublime text and we have our site controller generated and it'll namespace things for us it will bring in the dependencies that are required. So this is kind of stuff that you don't have to worry about and remember. We had four routes we needed to create functions for. The first will be show the home page. The second was show the about page. the contact form we will now process the contact form when we're creating functions inside of our controllers it's best to type in the request dependency directly into the method that we're using or you can do it at the constructor level but it's really good to do it here Let's post contact, type hint the request, and we'll dd like we did earlier, request all. All right, so this is everything that we need here, home, about, contact, and the processing the contact form, all corresponding to everything in our super clean routes file now. Come back over to Chrome. Let's test to make sure. We'll refresh the home page, click through to the about page type in the contact page perfect now we will just type in some random name my message and we can process the contact form perfect you can easily see how controller routing makes things really simple especially when we have a site controller and then if you needed to segregate out 
a couple different functions and a couple different parts of your site into different controllers, it'll make it really easy to see what's going on when you look into your controllers folder.